This post is for all those who are going through a period of fear, doubt and uncertainty. I thought I'd make a post that might help them. Ever wondered, what is fear? Fear is just faith inverted. Fear equals false evidence appearing real. It is faith in evil, instead of good. What I mean by evil is faith in things outside of us and good is faith in us, the God in us. The reason we fear and our faith still wavers because we still haven't truly realized something very important. To understand this in a better way, let me give an example. Have you ever had a nightmare? Where the characters, things, situations in the dream scared the living daylights out of you. But then when you realized it was just a dream, all of a sudden everything that was scary loses all power and meaning. If anyone has ever experienced a lucid dream you'd know that as soon as you are aware it's a dream, all of the dream and its elements are under your control. Why? Because every single person, character, every single thing in your dream is just you. The scary elements lost all meaning and power because as soon as you realized that it was your dream, that you are the operant power of that reality, you unconsciously realized nothing can hurt you because you've control over it. That is the secret. There's this quote my close friend used in one of our conversations. I'll share it here because I just loved it. I don't feel like the dream plane is as real as this plane. I feel this plane is as fake as the dream plane. That's all it is. What you call reality is really just as fake, real as your dreams. Everything that you see in your life, in your experience is just your assumptions. It's all you. Your outer world and your dreams are really the same in essence, just different dimensions with different rules. They are all very convincing illusions. But no matter what dimension it is, the only thing that remains constant is that you're the operant power. In your experience, that's the first step. When you realize who you are and your true potential that's when all fear-inducing elements lose power. Half the battle is already won. The next step is to know why you fear and doubt things. All fear, pain, suffering and sadness only happens when our old story and our new story don't match. What we desire and what we perceive are different. It's different because we don't persist. Persistence means one story, the new story, the only story. Persistence is easy when there's a change in perception. When you see your desire through the consciousness of your present limitations, present perception, you'll always feel it's not real. So, how to change perception? Here's an exercise I started doing recently to eliminate my fears. I call this perception exercise. This is where I use imagination to my advantage. I ask myself what is my desire. If it's wealth for example, I'd ask myself, how do I perceive my desire and my present situation? How does someone who has mastered wealth perceive the same situation? In this case I'd imagine someone I know who's rich. First, I see the situation from my perspective. I observe how I feel. Then I just put myself in the other person's shoes. See the situation from their eyes, from their beliefs, thoughts, and contrast it with mine. Each time I do this, I feel so different. In one, I feel weak. In another I feel strong and empowered. I remember the feeling of how the master saw it and I stick to it. I would remember their mindset and their perception and I adopt it. This has helped me tremendously in the last two weeks. Like, I feel I'm completely different. Again, this is nothing original. I got this idea from a Neville quote. The ideal you seek and hope to attain will not manifest itself, will not be realized by you until you have imagined that you are already that ideal. Each time you get used to this new mindset, you occupy a new state. That's when things in your experience will change and conform to your new assumptions. Have faith. Everything is possible. I hope this was helpful. Remember this. We don't manifest what we want, but rather what we are.